God of War came out on April 20th, 2018. It is the eighth game on the popular PlayStation series. It shifts from the Greek mythology to the Norse mythology. With a new game on a new system, God of War will look to continue the success of this franchise. Now even though this game has been out for a little while now, as it is nearing the late months of 2018 as release of this video, I will attempt to show no spoilers throughout this review. However, if there is something more minor, I cannot guarantee that it will not be shown. I can guarantee it will not be talked about. Nonetheless, you have been warned. Story. Believe it or not, the ending that was in God of War 3 is not really mentioned in this game. The whole game is a journey of Kratos and his son Atreus to spread Atreus' mother's ashes at the highest peak of the Nine Realms. Now throughout the game you meet many interesting characters. Say, you must be smart or something, boy. You're a boy, aren't you? Ha! Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. filthy. Okay then, I'll just I will just. Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove. You meet gods. Oh, yeah! This is great! You have to deal with personal conflicts. You'll learn some backstory about the lore. And you fight many, many different types of monsters, demons, and of course, gods. There is many parts of the story that are set pieces that are just fantastic. I can think of a couple off the top of my head, but I cannot mention them due to spoilers. But they build up these realms pretty nicely. Every single realm has their own backstory and reason for everything happening in the world. Overall, the story in this game is just great. But I will say this. While the story is good on its own, it does feel like the beginning of an absolute tremendous series. I'm not going to spoil anything, but the way this game ends makes it feel like the best is yet to come. This is just the introduction of something much, much bigger within this world. Nonetheless though, the story still fantastic on its own and it's just an epic journey between Kratos and his son Atreus. Presentation. The graphics are amazing. You do have the ability to go from 4K to 1080, but these textures are actually true 4K, and no matter what you choose, it's still amazing. The sound in this game is amazing. The lighting in this game is amazing. The menus are dynamic and they're crisp. So I guess they're amazing. The photo mode, some I really don't use much, I actually use in this game. Often I would stop in the journey and just be amazed by what I was seeing. 
The nine realms are alive. The nine realms are open. The nine realms are beautiful. Each of these nine realms has their own aesthetic and you can tell. We're talking almost everything from a graphical standpoint is just amazing in this game. This is one of, if not the greatest looking game of all time. Gameplay. Controls are amazing. This game has the perfect blend of easy to play, hard to master. At first glance, and on the lowest difficulty, this game can almost be a pickup and play. And that's perfect. If you just want to play through the story and just the story, and just easily go through all the enemies, you can do that. But if you want a challenge, turn up the difficulty. And let me tell you something. The difficulty settings are perfect. This game is not too hard. But it's also not that easy. You will die if you don't know exactly what you're doing 100% of the time. Especially on the hardest difficulty. Throughout the story, you are constantly learning new abilities, new skills that you upgrade yourself after gaining experience for each kill. The enemies in this game are varied. Sometimes you gotta use a specific way to kill them. Sometimes Atreus has to hit him with a bow. Sometimes you have to throw stuff at him. Sometimes they're slow and you have to dodge. Sometimes they're fast and you have to block. Sometimes you can't use your weapons. You have to actually hit them with your fists. This game always keeps itself moving. It has this cool stun mechanic that you can use with your bare hands and Atreus. And hitting people off the walls and stuff. And if you do that, it comes into one easy kill, which brings strategy to it. Now I do think they took a little bit from that from Doom. But that's okay, because Doom is one of the best games on this generation anyway. You can even upgrade Atreus over time, as he learns new abilities. There's puzzles where you actually have to use these abilities to get by and advance in the story. You can argue that some of these Wait boss there. fights do get kind of repetitive, but they do all have their unique twist to it. You'll figure out what I mean when you play the game. But the boss fights that aren't in that category are still amazing. Matter of fact, even the ones that are in that category are still amazing. It has a long main quest line, plenty of optional content. The controls are great and they're customizable. A great skill system. And I haven't even gotten into the crafting system yet. This game rewards you for going around off the path and exploring. There's chests that Kratos just kind of smashes through. And if you get those chests, you can unlock upgrades that you wouldn't have gotten any other way, such as more health. We can. Or maximize your Spartan Rage, which I haven't even talked about. Spartan Rage is kind of a meter that builds up, and when you can use it, you can pretty much become an unstoppable force. As well, those items that don't upgrade yourself, you can use to upgrade your armor, craft armor back at the shop. And once you craft something, then you can buy it anytime you want. You can even put on specific parts onto your weapons and onto your armor to upgrade even further. This game really awards you for exploring, and I like that. Overall, with the unique shopping mechanic and the crafting system, with plenty of puzzles, like I said, that will trick your mind at first, this game is near perfection. There's nothing in this game that doesn't work. Everything from AI, to combat, to exploring, to crafting, to shopping, works perfectly. 
gameplay wise, you can't go wrong with this game because it's almost perfect. So the gameplay, much like presentation, much like story, is just absolutely stellar. Do you winning smiles armor enough? But why take chances? When I look back and think about it, I have no con in this game. It's nothing but pros. This game is the closest to perfection any game has ever gotten. But with that being said, I am giving this game the very rare score of a perfect 10 out of 10. There is just nothing wrong, nothing that doesn't work about this game. This is a legendary game that is in an already legendary series. Thank you all for watching. My next review planned to be Spider-Man, but I got a busy, busy, busy September planned out for me. Hit that like button, subscribe for more. Thank you all for watching. Come back for some more videos.